Scott Grins, DTC Hall of Fame. How incredible is that? Um, not that I'm surprised, because I always saw the potential in you. Um, going back to our uh, starting days, uh, our days of partnership, Batman and Robin, Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, back at J. Walter Thompson working on Warner Lambert. Um, you are the guy that got hired when I was on vacation. And uh, when I got back, I'm like, who is this guy that, 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 that they hired? Um, but uh, amazingly, uh, we, came, we became fast and furious friends, um, have enjoyed seven, a seven year uh, run together, uh, working on lots of different client businesses. Um, and uh, suddenly one day I go off to California, you go on to uh, the client side, working at Warner Lambert, then Pfizer, then J&J, &J, uh, and now GSK. Uh, you have ra racked up quite an impressive uh, history over the past few years. So just really want to wish you, uh, your family, um, a hearty, hearty congratulations on this stellar achievement. Um, you know that you've got friends, family, uh, and general fans just wishing you the very best uh, continued success. Um, and personally, dude, I'm way so proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, Scotty, Joey here. I want to personally congratulate you on your election to the DTC Hall of Fame. Big time, buddy. Quite a credential. Should be able to get you into the owner's box. Well, at least Scranton Wilkesbury. For those of you in the audience who don't know Scott Grenz that well, let me tell you, Scott is one of the true DTC pioneers. Scott and I both worked for Bob Orlick back in 98 on Lipitor. While Bob and I were devising the TV copy and getting it approved by FDA, Scott, then Director of Media Services for Warner Lambert, was developing the media plan for the Lipitor launch. And looking back at that media plan, it's shockingly innovative for its time. The rest of Pharma was basically experimenting with network TV back then, but Scott was developing partnerships and placements in media that were really interesting. I think Scott is just about 100% responsible for developing the point of care DTC industry. Scott set a vision for what can be accomplished in the office. And Lipitor, I believe Scott has negotiated a 5% rate card for life. And there were some really, really interesting other media placements that Scott negotiated. For instance, we had four pages in every single week of TV Guide. Then you owe Scott a beer. Also, we had 100% of Pharma Share of Voice in New York Baseball Rainout Theater. And we had Yankee Stadium signage back then because Scott was interested in the health and well being of every single Yankee fan across the nation. Scott, as the quintessential DTC media innovator, you deserve this special place in the Hall of Fame. And as a great partner who is always there for me, whether it was in the Pfizer boardroom asking for DTC national launch funding, in LA at the Family Friendly Advertising Forum defending truth and justice, or riding the four train through the Bronx at 3 a.m. in the morning, I couldn't be more proud or happy for your success. Congratulations, Scott.